We are live! RSF1, Season 3, Division 1. I'm Bot86. And here with me in the virtual comms box tonight in Bahrain, it's Livid Racing Blazer nope. Guns! No? No, no, it's not, not Livid Racing. Not Livid Racing. They're called Leonor's Racing, but I'm not even part of the team anymore. I left out a while oh, ago. Okay, so you need. <laughs> you need <to laughs> change your tag then. I can't now, this is a star. <laughs> oh yeah, don't want to reset your points. Damn it, damn it. Sorry, you can always change it to RSF1, right? Because that'll be your next yeah. tag, right? That's right, yeah. I'm, I'm sure we can come to a financial arrangement on that. I know um, some man with some cash. Rev and Kevin. <laughs> I mean, I could possibly, but I'm um, part of the XFR uh, eSports team. I'm the owner of the academy team, so I'll go. At that. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Big calling. Big calling. Yeah. Big calling. Q1. 18 drivers. Bahrain. Yep. It's. It's very linear type of strategy tonight, uh, Blazer, wouldn't you say? I think everyone will be doing the one stop tonight. What do you reckon? <laughs> yeah, definitely. A uh, one stop is easily done here. At mediums to soft tyres. I know I could manage to do it. Uh, I know a lot of people will be trying to do it. Um, we might see people in Q2 do some bunker lap on soft tyres and then go for a faster lap on mediums or go straight out mediums in Q2. Mm -hmm. uh, see what lap they do. See how far they can get without being dropped. If they're near the uh, elimination zone, then they will pretty much go out on the soft tires just to make it into Q3, but hopefully we don't get to see that. No, no we want to see everyone racing. It's kind of unusual, Blazer. I've never actually probably been in a party with you before, probably in a proper talk. We've, we've shared a garage, we've, we haven't been teammates, we've never shared a podium ever. Uh, so this is kind of my first time kind of talking with you, but um, you and me share something very unique. You've been known, I suppose, in Italy for having the Williams back to back, right? Yeah, season one, season two, in F4. Back I remember, back everyone, Williams. I remember, I remember during the draw, people were like, oh, it doesn't get the, the Williams, oh, it doesn't get the Williams, you know. And thankfully, this season you didn't get the Williams, but um, when I, when I mean, we share a similar trade. It's, I, I'm stuck with the McLaren. So, <laughs> the last four seasons, three those seasons I've been stuck with McLaren so I can completely completely feel your pain dude completely feel your pain mm. I mean yeah a few seasons in the Williams I mean it's not one of my favourite cars but I don't mind it here and there but I'm glad for this season but I'm not only just a driver in Red Bull I am also the team principal for the Red Bull team this season. So I'm glad to be in a team that I specifically know best because the team's is the home is basically my home team. They're local to me. They're Milton Keynes. I live in Milton Keynes, so it's good to be in the team that I know. So you kind of feel like a kinship to you, like your local team, as if like your local football team or something like that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool to have, right? Because in Ireland we have not much. Uh, we have Murphy Motorsport, which are then the LMP1, I think it is, or LMP2. Uh, the Pro yeah. Racing, that's probably the nearest thing. Oh, other than Jordan, which we had like 20 years ago. Um, thanks, Eddie Jordan, for that. Um, yeah. yeah. Look yeah, at the I chat. Mean... Sorry, go ahead. Oh, sorry. Um, but yeah, um, I mean, there was a team a lot more local than me years ago. Yeah, kind of before my time, I think. But I don't. You possibly could remember. Um, oh, thanks for that old one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, if you were watching F1 at the time, I don't know really. To be f to be fair, um, Arrows. Yes, Arrows. Yeah. Yes, they were. At, I did found out well last month or a few months ago or something. Maybe a year ago. That I actually live. Just across the road from where they are. That's pretty cool to have. Yeah. 
cross, crossroads and narrow headquarters. That's Pucci Munch does a 25 8. Not bad at all. Q1. Let me just turn down. Can I turn down the sound a small bit? Yeah, Mr. Pucci Munch already setting the pace in FP1 here. Legends with a 26 0. Um, next driver on a lap. Coming towards the penultimate corner, going faster in the middle sector is uh, Sink Diggles. Sink Diggles, let's get on board with him. He's just going through the final sector, just going towards the final corner now. The Pink Panther. Yep, Pink Panther, racing point, tracing point, Pink Mercedes, whatever you call it. Force India. Force India. Well, well for formerly no. known Force India. There you go. <laughs> Shout out to my teammates in the stream chat tour. Hey buddy, Team Tango, yes, potatoes, Guinness, mm. yes. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm. Legends might have done a bit better of a lap than that. Yeah, uh, so we got the Mansell just slowing down, getting, he's about to get his lap ready. Okay, so probably be the next one around. Going through the final corner now is just to start his lap. McLaren's look pretty good this year. Of course, I'm biased when you say that because I'm McLaren obviously driver this season. <laughs> <coughs> Although I really like the the Alpha Tori. I think this this season's uh, livery, the Alpha Tori, I absolutely love it. I know some of the guys might not like it. I like the, oh the, yeah, the I red. Don't think mind it. Yeah. Oh, I just think it's really nice, the, the white, the, the, the blue at the back, the way they've done the logo it's something on different. the back cover. Yeah. That's what goes past this purple, purple first sector there. The other flag's in sector three, that is Sink Diggles actually going for a little spun there. Mm, at the penultimate corner. Bossman corner, just off the exit of it. He's rolling again though, so he's not too bad. Yeah, he Looks managed he's to keep it going. Yeah. Yep. And Zuzu. That's already got one retirement, Zuzu. I think yes. he might have a good qualifying ban, maybe. I'm not too uh, sure. I'll explain that. Mansell's looking pretty tidy on this lap, though. Coming around Bossman Curve. Yep. Onto the back straight. Not purple middle sector, so. But he did get the purple first sector. But let's see what he does at the end of the lap here. Having that uh, green and blue helmet of his. Uh, 26 flat as well, so very close, very close to. Oh, the man with the cash brings it out. Man with the cash. Straight off the bat. Straight off the bat. He is bringing out the big guns. Did you say basic ones? Yeah, definitely bringing out the big guns. Uh, it's not too true yet, man with the cash. <laughs> but, uh, next, next up, just uh, finish the lap is XFR Turbo. Perfect. Going to around the Bosman curb. You think he suffers from turbo lag? <laughs> <laughs> no, of course not. That's why he's a battery built into the car. Duh. I'm waiting for the chat now. Later <laughs> no, that's because he's a battery built in. But, uh, <laughs> Hello, Savage <laughs> Gaming guys. SV. Ooh, welcome to the... 26-0. That's... Three it's times in a row in the 26 flats there. It's, it's very, very close. close in F1. Very, very, very tight here in F1, yeah. The boys in the committee like to see. did a very good job. Let's see. Let's see, I think... Vettel SF71H in the Red Bull. Is the next driver to uh, finish it off this lap. It's just going around the Ooh, purple middle sector. Well. Got purple middle sector, so yeah. it's looking quick here. Looking feisty, see if you can bring it on. Yeah, We're looking for on. more 25, guys. Come on, let's, let's see it. A lot of 25, 26. Please, that Honda power. Scream down the straights. It's a 25 8. Stuff, stuff. You just need to do your bit just to get by our Q1 really, listen to this, you don't want to do too much, you just want to yeah, do enough definitely. to get you out. 
R7 Vettel in the Alfa Romeo next up to cross the line. He's going to be in the 26. That's a 26 0 as well. Wow. And he is a fast driver, Vettel. Let's not make any mistake. Yeah, about definitely. It. When he puts his mind to it, he can definitely, definitely put in a good lap. So we're looking forward to him probably later on in the yeah. qualifying to uh, good lap. Yeah, definitely. Next up to do his lap and finish his lap is Oza. Just going around the second DRS now. He was purple first sector. I think that's... Is that a has so, in front of him? Hopefully it won't cause him too much uh, problems. Yeah, there's a has in front of him. Let's see what he does in the middle sector here. Takes a very yeah, nice... No. Very it's nice. A nice Nicely done there. Not purple middle sector, but still got good pace in uh, Alphatari. Yeah, was another very good a little driver. Yeah, definitely. And he's getting a slipstream as well from the harsh driver. In the other flash, up. One, set the two. 26 6 there, so R7 Vettel had a little spin there. Um, I'm just trying to find out. I think Aldorf had a spin. No. Dominic Berezna was spinning around. Red Bull as well. They look like to do another lap. I think I'm very trying to see who's a lap. Yeah. See who's on a lap near the about to cross the line. If we can find out. Um. I think Dyslexic is the next driver to cross the line to finish off his lap. Just going on the Bossman curve, there back straight. Be, yep. Taking it nice and carefully, riding on board with the Renault driver. It's nice Locks livery, up that. slightly on the front right. Yeah, it's a nice livery there. It's going to be in the 25s. No, it's another 26. Nice. I was, I was expecting what a little 25 there. Aldaf good in the pits. Uh, RSF Lando in the back Mercedes. Just going around the Bosman curve. Down the final straight. Down the final straight towards the last corner. He's got a Ferrari in front of him. That's Tommy Bresna about to start his lap as well. Yeah, well he's all good. Give him space, as we want to see. So, he's getting the toe as well from the Ferrari. It's another 26 lap. Jesus. A lot of 26 flats here. This is pretty lot, crazy. Yeah. Uh, Corey Marshall going around the Bossman curve now to finish off his lap as well. I think Easton then is just leaving sector 2 onto sector 3, so we'll jump on him then real quick. After Corey. Rachel fuel in his car. Around the final corner. I think it's going to be another 26 flat. No, it's a 27. No. 27, 25, 7. That's a great lap. Easton, what's he gonna do? That's gonna be in a 25. Oh, definitely. 25, 6. There's the fastest lap. We knew it was coming. Easton. Yep. The so driver is to set a lap at the moment is Aldaf, who's just coming out of the pits now. And Dominic Bresna, whose lap is invalidated. So, Scuderius is not having a good start at the moment. No. We've got 5.13 to go. Yeah, need to up their game a small bit. As you said, just over 5 minutes left in Q1. They're in the danger zone now. What about Drew losing 3 drivers? Because, obviously, Zuzu has left the session. I'm sorry, retired, I should say. Yeah. Tango Squad, yes for Stappen in the chat. Push says Blue Bulls. Oh, that's right. obviously for Red <coughs> Get you. John Bresna now started his lap, so let's see what he does. Turn one, turn two, nice and carefully opens the DRS down the DRS straight here. Got to gear eight, comes towards turn three. Keeps it nice and tidy, short shifts up to fourth there, turn five and six. Nice and tidy on the exit, no traction loss, turn seven, lovely as you like. Gotta be careful with a slight lock up in the front right now. Coming towards turn 
eight and nine if I'm right. That's just a one big corner. That sharp left hander, that's a dangerous corner as well. If you break too late, that's with you going straight into the tire barrier and you could easily lock up the front left as well. Easton retires the east time, he knows he's safe. Resin now going through that right hander. You don't want to go get close to the inside just in case you lose the rear end. That's a high spot. Purple sector two. Yeah, purple sector two. So here he comes. He's got a six string from the Alphatari of Ozzo in front of him as well. Final corner was nice. It looks to be a 25, a 26 zero. Not bad. And that's three laps all on those stops as well. Yeah. Have to remember, so he's pretty much doing what what I would do is just lap after lap after lap and. Get your last few moments of practice in before the session ends. Just over three minutes left to go. Yeah, definitely. Um, we're looking about losing three drivers here at the minute. Looks like Aldaf, Sink Diggles. That's it really, isn't it? Yeah, two drivers were losing. Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> it's that's not bad. In F1 at the moment as well, just in Q2, seven drivers are in the 26 flats. Very close to one another. That's going to make for an I don't incredible think you can race. Write uh-huh really is that's gonna make for an incredible race even if we have a safety car midway through with the backs to pack up that's gonna be an incredible restart yeah definitely um blazer i think this is one of those oh, th this is races that will it'll come down to uh penalties because the field looks so close at q1 that you know you get a three second penalty you could go from first to fifth yeah uh, Sink Diggles only improves to 15 for the 26 1 there. So Shane, he is the man party. in danger. Sorry, Shane, I can't go to your party right now. I'm in the middle of streaming. I'd love to do it, but I cannot right now. Who is next around? We have guys on outlaps. Sink Diggles is yeah, next one across. Is, out out is it? No, it's not Sink. Sorry, it's the other one. Got a racing point. Alpha. I think it's Alda is the next one to cross the line. It's five tenths down though, so I don't think he's gonna improve. No. And I wouldn't mind, all he needs is like a tenth or two, and he's up to mid midway through the through the grid. Yeah. You know, literally like a tenth yeah. or two could say. Forza is about to start his lap. Hold off, flew into the pits. I don't know if you saw that. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> flew into the pits. Ooh. Stink Diggles spun at the bossman curb. Not a spot you want to spin at. Out. You've two no, cars definitely. behind you. I, I learned my lesson there um, Monday. I spun at the uh, <laughs> Osman Curve. I went from P12 to P17, I think it was, on the final lap. Oh no, not on the final lap. Yeah, it was on the final lap. Oh, oh! there goes Osman on the spin. We just caught that. Wow. He was very lucky to get, not to get damaged, not to DNF the car. He spins it around. Yeah. Easy, easy. Oh, there's only 15 seconds left. Aldaf retires, so you, that's him done. Yeah. He can't make it. That's unfortunate. So it looks Ozzy like we're going to lose Ossa. Yeah, Ossa, Aldaf, and Zizu is the drivers we're going to lose. I think Diggle's just safe. So close, though. It really is Blazer, isn't it? It's so Mr. close to mid, mid, yeah, mid field here. Very close. Rhombus has started their lap. He just managed to cross the line on, the line on time, so see what he does. Only in P14, so he knows he's safe for Q2. But he's still gonna go and set a lap. Rhombus, we know he's a quick driver as well. Yeah, but seeing him up there. near the bottom of the field in Q1, to be fair. So weird to see him there. What if he does Definitely get... uh, Diggles breathe yeah. breathes a sigh of relief. <laughs> yeah, agree with you there. Definitely. Definitely, Brenda. 
It's it's um, one of those things you don't want to wreck your car in qualifying, do you? As much as it's about yeah, spinning definitely. out and you know wrecking a set of tires and getting a new wing, you're like, whew! But you know you keep all four wheels, you're able to go back to the pits and put on your set of boots well, again. Only just improves by 0.088 in the middle sector, so he's improving his time. Let's see what he does in the final corner. He looks up fly on the front right, but doesn't. Not like to cost him anything. He improves to 26.3. 26 point flat again. 26 flat again, come on. Look at that. Um, he was on the 26 flat and then he improved the 26 flat. One, two, three, four. Five seven drivers. drivers. Yeah. Five drive. Yeah. Five or seven drivers on the 26 flat. But uh, just. They're all so close there. I mean. That is, that's where it's going to be at the end of Q3 with a lot of drivers very close to, to each other's times like that. There's going to be non-stop non action here. I can't wait for it. I can't wait for it. Every corner you're going to have just battle after battle after battle. And the only thing is, we only have one camera. So we can only focus on one battle at a time. Yeah. So just to run through the grid, we'll start off with the drivers we unfortunately lost. We have lost Zizu Mex, uh, he retired early. Uh, Aldarf Oza, unfortunately gone, but the rest of the drivers do remain. Our top five is Easton, the man with the cash. The driver formerly known as the man with the cash. Lando and Corey Marshall and Mr. Pigeon Munch in the house. Very close though, top, I mean, top four is very close. Yeah, top four is very close as well, under a tenth. So, the race is definitely going to be spicy. Spicy, that is a uh, word for it. Definitely spicy. Yeah, it's definitely spicy. In race terms, if they're that close, they're pretty much near going wheel to wheel with each other if they're on the racetrack. Racing right now. Yeah, it literally be wheel to wheel. Can't wait for the battles. Yeah. Let's see what people's doing in Q2. We've seen the medium tyres coming on there for the Alpha Tari of Corey Marshall, Exifer Turbo in the Alpha, Pass F on Mantle on the McLaren, Vettel SF 71 the Red Bull, Dyslexic in the Renault. We've got a couple cars coming out on track. RS7 on Vettel on the soft tyres. Yeah. No. Are they the soft tires from Q1? Maybe a few practice laps? Um, yeah, maybe. I mean, bit, I bit know of bluff what a lot of people have been doing as well. Pardon? Maybe a bit of, bit of a bluff? Yeah, a bit of bluff. I mean, I think what people would do is... I know a lot of people are doing it on uh, Monday. They go out on the soft tires from Q2. And go up on their lap. Go fastest in all three sectors. Well, first two sectors, and then by the time they get towards the final corner, they slow it down so much. So it's going to be like a, say, like a 130 or something like that on the soft tyres, which they, you know they could do like a 120, 125 on the softs. But they do it, do that, so they come back in and go back out on the medium tyres, and if they make it to Q3. By doing that on the medium tyres, then they'll be starting the race on medium tyres. That's it. That's exactly how it works. So, for anyone who's new to F1 or even new to watching league racing, it would work just like a, a real F1 race. Q1, Q2, Q3. The bottom five drivers from Q1 are eliminated at the end of Q1, and then we do the same for Q2 and do the same for Q3. The tires you set your fastest lap on for Q2, if you make it to the top 10. You have to start the race on those tires. So just in case someone wasn't aware of how that works, that's basically how it works in the nutshell, right, Blazer? Yeah. Um, the fastest tires, uh, the fastest lap you set on those tires in Q2, that'll be your starting tires for the race. So uh, let's see what people will do. I think someone's asking how spicy is the race going to be, Steve? I think Tor is saying it's going to be a Carolina Reaper spicy, he says. 
I don't know, I've never tasted a lot of that, but that sounds very spicy. Carolina Reaper, uh, yeah, they're kind of spicy. I've had them before, they are quite spicy. Not too bad, but just very spicy. I want to drink the water after that's here. Or maybe you might want a pint of Guinness. Pint of Guinness, yeah, definitely. Nothing wrong with a good old Guinness. Nope. Glad you said that. Nothing wrong with it at all. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely, so it is. Whoa, purple. Oh, sure, it's, it's, only, sector, it's only Q2, isn't it? But it's, uh, pur <laughs> purple Sector 2. I was like, yes, go on, better. What are we expecting here now, Softs? We're expecting at least 25, 25 fives? There we go. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, As I was stop. saying. <laughs> As I was saying. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Just put a load of fuel in your car and do laps. It's the same thing. You don't need to slow down the line. Also on the medium tires, so you can see the people on the medium tires are just gunning for it straight away. Going for of course, the people on the soft tires are just taking it very nice and slow. Corey Marshall are 26.7, RSF1 Mansell are 26.8, both on mediums, less than 10 separate them. Who else we've come and around? Cash is coming in the pits with soft tires. Alright. Sync on phase is the next driver to come in the pits. Oh, don't say that. I'm not in the pits. Um, across the line. See what he does. 27-1. Oh, nice. Look at that. McLaren 2-3 already. Yes. Tango squad. I shouldn't be the same. I'm here from one. I don't know if <laughs> XFR Turbo is the next driver to cross the line. And the very slow lap from there. It's a 31-4 on the mediums. Is, is it me, Blazer, or are these guys kind of setting their laps on the mediums a bit too quick? I'd probably go out with my old Q1 softs and run a few laps first and slow down the line, but I'd probably put a little yeah. fuel load. Just do a few practice laps, get into the rhythm, and then come in, you know, with maybe five minutes left to go, six minutes left to go, stick on your set of mediums, and then gun it. That's your lap, done. Yeah, I mean, that's never the thing now. I mean, especially there's no hard tyres in qualifying now, so you can't do, like, the go out on the hards, like my old tactics. Uh, my old strategy ways in the, the last two seasons. I've always, when I make it to Q2, I'm always the first driver out on track, on the hard tyres, setting the laps, see what I can do, do you know what, and then go back out on the mediums. One thing I noticed with you oh, lost. last season, lost Diggles. Yeah, we lost Diggles. In the His yes. car is facing towards the track at the... Uh, oh, there goes Tommy! BVB, BVB Thor, Diggles Charismic Spun, Corner. Charismic yeah, Corner. <laughs> that's exactly what, Yeah, because myself and Thor were practicing with Charismic during the week, and Charismic, for his that. life, he just could not keep the car straight for that downhill corner section bit. He kept going yeah. off and going off and going off. We just eventually we just said, right, we're going to name that corner Charismic Corner because he keeps flying off and putting the car in the wall. So that's how Thor <laughs> recognizes as Charismic Corner. But uh, that's how things get their names. Uh, let's see who's coming yep. around for a lap. We have, is it a Red Bull I think he's going on a lap. He's going on a lap. Doing another lap on medium tires for the looks of it. Is he thinking a two-stop, do you think, Blazer? <clears throat> Maybe. Ooh, a little twitchy there. <laughs> RSF1 in the Vettel in the chat goes, I swear that lap on softs wasn't. Was, wasn't. I don't know, maybe it's referring to not mean to ah, stop Mansell, the line. Yeah, 26 8 on the soft tires. Wow, maybe Mansell is going for two stop. Or is he going for like a short stint on the softs and then a very long stint on the hards? Or is he thinking Hards, we're going to have yeah. a safety car maybe? Yeah, that's a big question. Because although F5 last night did not have a. Safety car. There was definitely a safety car in F2 on Sunday night. I knew that. And that was pretty much after like lap one or during lap one. They were only half a room the track and the safety car was deployed. Let's see what Days Rhombus can do in the arena. Um, yeah, um, I don't remember. 
I don't know about the F2 race. I wasn't uh, watching. I was busy doing the, uh, the the British GT race on another game at that time, so I couldn't watch the uh, stream. That was on Forza, was it? Yeah, Forza Motorsport 7. I do the British GT with Tora. Oh, pretty sweet. <clears throat> Is that at Silverstone yeah. or? Uh, this was in. Well, this last week was in uh, Virginia. Oh, nice. I'm trying to think of that track. Um, yeah, so if, I think it's Virginia International Raceway. It's uh, the full circuit. So mm -hmm. it was a lot of fun, to be fair. I actually enjoyed that. Uh, I know the next race is. Um, I actually don't know, remember what the next race is. <laughs> but yeah, it's actually real fun, I like it. Real quick, Blazer, Diz Rhombus, Purple Sector 1, Purple Sector 2, what is he going to do here? They finish off the lap. Will he go pole? Or provisional pole, so Fourth? 26-9? Yeah, 26-9 there. So there's a right there. The right there. lap from Rhombus. That. Yeah, that's, that's a medium yeah. too as well, so look, that's... We'd be happy enough with that, I'd say. Ah, oh, there it is. <clears throat> so our next race in the British CT, which is August... August 23rd, is uh, in our Spa Tank of Chance, so... Tough track in GT <laughs> cars, wait. man. That's, that's a tough track in GT cars. You just don't have the downforce going uh, through... Especially, uh, if yeah. 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 especially if it's multi-classed. Yeah. Especially if it's multi-class, the GT3s and GT4s. <laughs> I've done that before. You just go behind, you know, behind the car. It's in front of you, you know, whatever. Like you know, what? It's just going so slow. It's like oh, flashlights, yeah, flashlights, lights, lights, lights. Move, move over, <laughs> move over. Uh, see, that's the problem in Forza. We can't flash the lights and stuff like that. Oh, no way. Because I know in the yeah. you can do that, but I didn't know that. Before. Man with the cash. Fifth, twenty-six, nine. On fresh mediums as it slows it down. Should be happy enough with that. Nice Actually, up there from Man with Cash. Might, yeah. might be safe at the moment, but we don't know. Uh, Exifer Turbo is already retired. I just noticed that. So is uh, Vettel. I think Vettel's going to be safe there with those three that medium tyres he's done there. Exifer Turbo might be on the on the elimination zone at this rate, depending on the tyre laps and the tyres that the other drivers below him goes on. Well, let's be honest, Turbo couldn't really do another lap on his mediums, could he? He's already got done three laps on them. It'd be very difficult to put another lap on them, considering he needs to take minutes to race if he does get through. Yes, we know you got an IndyCar race on Saturday at Spa, Brando. Is that also in Forza? Yeah. Yeah, the, the IndyCars are, are pretty cool. I like watching the IndyCars uh, do no Oh, I do. Yeah, I like it as well. Yeah. I didn't do the IndyCar event, what, Tori? Yeah, sure it does. Um, I'm normally doing like the VFL stuff on Saturdays, but I did took part in the Indy 500 event that they did a few months back, and I really enjoyed it. It's a nice break away from the the Formula One side of things. Yeah, definitely. As Lando brings it in, I thought Lando was going to sell up there. You no, know, brought it in. Fresh mediums. He's just kind of just above the, the danger zone, would you say? 27 yeah. 2. I don't know if I'd be overly confident with that. A lot of fast drivers in here, but look, IGN, IGN Legends. Yeah, he's I mean, Eastern's just, just on his outlap now, so he, yeah, Eastern's on his outlap, going, going through the bottom hand corner. So he's about to get his slap ready. He sticks to go on Mick. Uh, Max fuel mode and hot lap. So here goes Easton as he's right on board with him. Opens DRS, crossing the line to start the lap now. Goes down the long straight of about 206, 207 miles per hour, breaking instantly down towards turn one around about 50 miles per hour. So there's a big G force there on the breaking turn one, turn two. Was nicely done. Opens the DRS down this straight into turn three. Under braking down to gear three, shot shift to gear four on the exit, takes it nicely done. Number four and five now. Five and six. I don't really know the on and eight numbers. But it's taking them nice and perfectly there. 
in that shot right hand and you always have to be careful of looking up the front right take it nice and carefully doesn't lock up now to the left hander no signs of a tire lock up there so he's doing so well so far now he's coming to the more tricky part of the track after this long right hander uh, left hander we've got the flat out right hander you don't want to take too much curve otherwise you go for an auto spin Come towards the bottom curve. Pass this middle sector, cuts the inside curve there, doesn't validate. Okay, cuts it perfectly. Down the straight. Get the back straight, come under breaking towards the final corner, down to gear three, short shifts to four. Open to DRS now. It's gonna be a 26 8 there from Eastern. Small and that slaps. is guaranteeing to make him into Q3. That is a nice lap from the Eastern very, there. Very nice. In the black Mercedes. Yeah. Very, very nice lap. We got Flawless. Yeah, Sink Diggle. Uh, Sink Unfazed actually going around the back the final Legends. corner in the McLaren. Legends goals! First. 26 hits. I wouldn't Legends. doubt it. I wouldn't oh, doubt it. Know. Sink Unfazed on the soft tyres to 25s. Uh, 25 5. A second it's faster. pretty much. Yeah. Sync on phase is on a lap on this medium tyres. Dyslexic is getting his soft tyres warmed up. He bear, he think, needs to think about starting to get a move. He's got 50 seconds to cross that line. Yeah. If he's going to set a lap on those soft tyres. And Bresnan might be close. Lando's crossing the line now to start his lap. Do you think some drivers are starting so, to panic now? They're maybe throwing on the softs. Yeah, going, definitely. I just, I just gotta get through. I gotta get through. Maybe that's what they're thinking right now. Yep. The drivers are starting to panic. So, I think it's gonna be close for Tom Bresnan. I think he'll just make it. 14 seconds. No, he's not gonna make it. I think Bresnan's going to make it. It's very Eight, close. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, two seconds to go. Oh, he just made it. Oh. What can that happen to me on Monday? <laughs> he timed that perfectly. Absolutely perfect. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, I did that on Monday. I crossed the line with Lissy. One second to go. Pigeon no, I second. couldn't set the lap. But uh, also for Orlando is going to be the first one in the bottom ten to set a lap going around Bosman Curve through this time by four and a half tenths in the middle sector. So here comes RSF on Lando. Is it enough to knock RSF on Cash out? Should be good. Should be good. Two. See what he does. Six. Yes. Sink on fate. Uh, uh, Dave's Wombos is now in the in the elimination zone. Sink Dyslexic is about to cross. We're well, about to go through the final corner. God, I love the gearbox sound, so it's horrible at the moment. So, Sink Dyslexic, let's see what he does. Not wow. Rombos out. Eastern is on, on the brink of elimination. Cash is out too! Wow, um, that's, that's tough. Bresnan goes second, so Eastern is out of Q2. Oh man. So we oh, have lost man. RSF on Eastern, Days Rhombus, RSF on Cash, XFR Turbo, and Sink Diggles, who hasn't said a lap. I just threw uh, Easton a quick invite there because I thought that was a very tight lap. I don't know how he got eliminated. So I close. Don't know. Uh, through to Q3. Sync on phase, Bresner, Dyslexic, Mr. Pigeon Munch, IGN Legends, Corey Marshall, Vettel SF71, Lando, Vettel, and Mansell will battle it out for pole position and see who can get it. Lots of names yes, are got knocked Easton out. Look at that. Easton, Rhombus, Cash, like Turbo, some fast drivers that, that are going to be starting. Yeah, they're going to be starting the mid-pack. Um, we were yeah. joined in the virtual comms box, thankfully, by Easton. 
Eason, man, that was an incredible lap. Like, and he still didn't get through. I think he could have improved. It's just people going on sauce at the end as usual. Knock me out. I'm always in that eleventh place when that happens. Yeah, myself and Glazer were kind of saying that we're thinking maybe some of the drivers kind of panicked and were like, right, let's throw on a set of softs, get out there and set a fast lap, and that'll knock people out. But look, you're starting with fresh tires, right? And if safety car comes out, you have your choice. Yeah, I'm on. In my opinion, I'm on the best strategy out of everyone. Fresh tires. I know I've got the race pace as well, so hopefully I can make a comeback drive like last week. Perfect, perfect. Do you, do you reckon you're in there for a podium? Just depends, really. What mm -hmm. happens? Yeah, can't predict turn one, can you? Nope. No, nope. <laughs> we'd all love to predict turn one. Yeah, I take it in nice and easy. But look, um, good luck in the race, Mark. Um, Easton, and uh, hopefully we'll be talking to you soon. Yep, see you in a bit. See ya. See you in a bit. So Vettel is the first one out. Do you know, I was going to say that to you earlier on, that's one of the first things I, I kind of noticed about you, because I was racing in your, your division, we were racing kind of against you last season in RSF1 Blazer, and you were in the Williams, as always, I think it was, and um, <laughs> yep. you were the first one out at the, at the garage, man. Every qualifying session, who's the first one out? The engineer would say over the radio, it's Blazer. Blazer's the first one out. You must have had your setup like ready to go, your entire fuel and everything ready to go, and literally yeah. press the button and out the garage doors. I will literally have everything sorted out as soon as I get into the lobby. I get my setup on, I see what tires are is available. Uh, well, I see what tire strategy I want to go on on the uh, tire recommended recommendation. I normally go the harder tire strategy, and that gives me the hard tires for qualifying. So if, when I make it from Q1 to Q2, every time in Q2 I go out on the hard tyres just to get the feel of the yeah. hard tyres, see what they're like and set a lap. If they're actually a good enough, if it's actually a good enough lap to make it into Q3, I'll just leave it there and just stay on those hard tyres. But if it's not a good lap, I could get eliminated, I'll go out on the medium tyres and I know I can improve massively. As much as I love that strategy, there's one thing I disagree with on, and that's using your hards. And my theory on the hards will be is, if you damage your wing, lap one, you need to come in. You want your fresh hards, you need your fresh hards, you can't have a couple of laps on them. Oh yeah, because that's you, you know, you'll need them. Oh yeah, I know what you mean. I mean, that's the thing, when I went for the harder tyre strategy, they give you two sets of hard tyres. One yes. set for qualifying, and the other set for the race. So if I got damage on the hard tyres on the first lap, I could just go in the pits and pit for the f fresh sets of hard tyres. So, controversial question. Do you always pick the harder allocation? Not anymore. Not when I found out you can't pick the hard tyres on this game. <laughs> yeah, it's a strange one this game. It seems kind of bugged or something like that. As we were first driving across, 25-5, 25-4, it's coming through. What do you reckon is going to be pulled, guys? Let's see in the chat. We got 26 viewers. Come on, viewers, let's, let's get a bit of banter in the, the stream I chat. Think, see what's I happening. I think they uh, get close to the 24s. Yeah, we're going to see it, right? Yeah. What do you reckon? 24.9? 24.8, would you say? It's pushing now, so it is. Pushing it. I would say a 24.9, possibly. But I don't know, I mean, they're all pushing 25-4s at the moment. So I could possibly say it could be close, but a lot more closer to a 25, lower 25, so possibly 25-2, maybe a 25-1. That's probably more realistic. I was probably jumping the gun there <laughs> with a 24 inch. Yeah, um, 24s are definitely jumping the gun, but I'd say at least a 24-1 or 24-2. Could be the thing to go for. I think I'm phased at 25-4. It's fastest than the McLaren. Watching the chat there, uh, Taurus says, A bug in this game? Get out of here. He's like, yeah, get out of here. Really, another bug. Yeah. Whoa, as Corey <laughs> Marshall goes really wide after doing a purple sector too, he ruins his lap. Oh, 
something you don't want to do, but at least you could still go around, set a lap, and then come back into the pits. Exactly. And exactly. Get put on a, a, another fresh set of soft tyres if you've got any left. And go again. I don't know about you, Blazer, but that, that second run on Q3, um, I'm sweating. Because that's when you need to pull off the tidiest of tidiest laps you've ever done. And all your practice for the course of the week, all that TT laps you've done, it all comes down to that one lap to pull off for pull. Oh, yeah. And Q3 is always down to that one lap if it can get you that pull. Uh, you've got a load of tracks that could happen. Um, Bahrain, definitely, you don't want to go wide too much or is some validation and stuff like that. I think the toughest track. Quite, there's quite a lot of tough tracks, but the th I say the three toughest tracks, well maybe four, but I think the toughest tracks to get a lap in, to get a pole position, would be Vietnam, which the new track that's been added to the calendar. Yes. That's going to be a hard one, I guarantee it. Monaco, you need to get that absolutely perfect. Mm -hmm. If you make a single mistake, gone. Hello to the barriers. That yeah. barriers is gonna ruin you. That's early night for the rest you. of your life. Yep. Baku, you got the castle section. Mess that up, and you'll you'll become the land of, uh, not land of, the Charles de Clare meme of I am stupid. <laughs> yeah, I'm stupid. Not in his um, banana suit. Yeah. <laughs> and then of course. Singapore as well. You got the Anderson Bridge, where slight mistake you could lose the rear end. I just lost it there quite a few times in the last game. I admit point. it. It, I've, it is a very part, uh, struggling part of the track that is. So, it's, as I was saying, in certain tracks it can be done in one lap, but those four tracks, I, I say in those four tracks, maybe Russia as well. To how strict those track extensions are as well. So I say those tracks are the difficult, most difficult tracks to get the one perfect lap. I was I was in a league race about maybe three years ago, and I was in second after an early safety car. I made a wrong decision, but the guy in front of me, he was the leader, and he was about maybe 10, 15 seconds up the road. So I was like, I was settling into second place, you know, last lap. He puts into the wall on the passive, wrecks the car, DNFs. Like, I felt so sorry for him. Like, he's done the whole race from pole to the end. I know. Pulled out feeling. a nice, nice know big that lead, and boom. The wheel comes off the car. Yeah, and you, you no, just, I know that. You just it's exhale, easy. sitting in your seat, and go, oh, Yeah. I can't believe I just done that. Yeah, definitely. It happens, though. It I, does happen. It happens, yeah. I mean, season one, F4. The first race I won in Baku. It's the first of the back-to-back -back wins in Baku in F4 as well. Somebody in front of me, I can't remember, had a big lead on me, and he crashed out. I think in the castle section, and that eventually got, gave me the race win. But at the same time, I almost did the same mistake as well and crashed at the. Nearly crashed out the castle section, but only managed to get myself a red front wing on the right. Oh, you were lucky. You were lucky. Do yeah, you, so you... I was lucky to win that. Do you do you kind I of find yourself? The limit. Do you find yourself kind of like you know midway through a race or mid towards end of the race, you're you get yourself into a trance like a rhythm. You're just kind of like yeah, corner, corner, corner. You're not kind of thinking to yourself, I should be like on maximum attack here, going for it, trying to get the next guy. Yeah, definitely. I mean, if you know that's where you're f finishing, that's all you need to focus is this is where I'm going to finish. Let's not make a mistake. C keep my head clear and just finish the race. I mean, it's just so much focus you need. It's you don't, you won't notice how much focus you need until you make that mistake and lose the race lead. Yeah, so it's, you it's that moment you realise you haven't focused, you lose the race lead because of that one mistake you've done. That's where you're going to look back and re have the biggest regret. Yeah, no, I definitely, definitely agree with you. It's, um... No, it's, it is. And do you know what, as well, you've done a whole week of training. You know, getting your strategy together, doing all this, getting 
ready for the race and then just to lose it like that it just it is deflating yeah. very deflating it is deflating uh, especially munch? if it's on the yeah no, I was gonna have you seen no, sorry, pizza munch here yeah purple sector 1 purple sector 2 let's see what he does oh it's come a on it's 25-3 will we see a 25-2 Come on, guys. I think 25 25 was, so we're gonna, we could possibly see it. Okay, there is. Uh, I think it's an alpha coming around next to it. Vettel. Vettel's gonna be next to Clover across, but he is Vettel, on no, the slow he, down. Vettel's on a slow lap. It's uh, Vettel SF. SF71H on a lap. Purple middle sector by two tenths. It's the so, other Vettel. Oh, I've been wide there, but he's holding. The Red Bull driver, the Red Bull Vettel, looks to be on a very nice lap. Can we possibly see a 25-3, maybe a 25-2 from him? We've got a minute to go now in Q3. Crosses the lies. A 25-3. Look how close. Not wow. pole, but look how close it was to very, pole position, very though. Close. It's Corey crosses the line. Nope, in well, then. Nice one. Nice up. There we go. McLaren's about to start his slap. Sync on phased. Sync dyslexic. Uh, gotta find Mr. Lando. Or Lando. Is it Lando in the black Mercedes. It is a nice looking mark, isn't it? It is. It's something different, as I was saying. You don't expect these different type of cars the, t the teams go for for the colours for the car. I mean, Mercedes gone for the black Mercedes. They're known as the silver arrows, but they're gone for the a silver, uh, a black look, and it looks amazing. Oh, car off track into the gravel. I think that was better. I'm not too sure. Pitcher must be happy with that. Let's see who's next round. I think. Yeah, cool Dyslexic is spun at turn two. So that is his qualifying done. Point Marshall on the lap. Um, Vettel isn't, so Corey Marshall is the next driver to cross the line in the AlphaTauri. That's an unusual mistake by Dyslexic. Usually he's a driver who keeps all four wheels on the tarmac. <laughs> yeah. And there's Corey Marshall crosses the line. It's only 25 5. We got a Alfa Romeo coming around the final corner. That Real is slow. the R7 Vettel. He, he's actually done. So. Sink on phase around phase. the last corner. Full battery. Let's go. Where's he going to put it? Not does not improve. 25 4. Does not improve. Purple turret sector. Recent Didn't. point. Uh, no. Legend has invalidated Lando. Then, I think Lando. Oh, no, Lando. Lando's done to do that. Mansell. No, Mansell's done. So, that's it. Bresner's done. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's qualified. That was quick. That felt quick. Yeah. That actually went quicker than I thought. They were actually close enough as well, like, you know, 25 3, 25 4, and we have a bunch of 25 5s, 25 6. Like, and we saw um, uh, Q1, we saw 26 zeros, 26 flats. Q1. Yeah, um. <laughs> you wouldn't know something else. Hit me. Because Corey Marshall set the lap time first. Corey Marshall will start ahead of RSF and Lando because they got the exact same time. A 125.526. They Holy both crap. got the exact same time, but Corey Marshall will start ahead of Matt v Lando because Corey Marshall was the first driver to set that lap. That's how tight we have things here in Division 1 in RSF1. Oh! Talk about I just realised! Mansell 25, 125.525 and then you've got Corey Marshall, Marshall. with, with 526 <laughs> Grunty, Mansell, yeah, that's... evening Grunty <laughs> You're getting that from AJ, evening Grunty, evening Grunty oh. AJ Jr, yeah <laughs> AJ. <laughs> Who's AJ Jr? I never haven't heard this before uh, no, you got AJ and then you also got Junior as well. Junior does it. 
Oh, sorry. Yes, now well, I get you. I think okay. Junior was the first one that I bring it up during the driver draw. Going grunchy. He was brilliant. He was brilliant at driver draw. He had those pineapples on oh, his Oh, yeah. Jun <laughs> yeah, Junior was brilliant. I mean, good old pineapple tits himself. Pineapple tits, exactly. All the guys were <laughs> Grunty, Shane, Reb, AJ is great to see him. Yeah. Stretch. They were all brilliant. Yeah. Now we play the waiting game and hope no one raids up. And now we play the waiting game. There's one thing. Yeah, actually, unfortunately, we read. There's, oh, one, sorry, the one, there's one thing that bugs me in this game is that the. And I've actually tweeted Codemasters on this. I said the, the overtake button, I don't want it as a toggle. I want it as push to hold because when I use it, like over, overtake a driver, I'm like, okay, yeah, I've done the overtake, savage. And then, like, you know, five corners later, I'm like, why do I have like, not my battery left? I just prefer like to push, hold, yeah. and when I let go, it's done. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think the push hold one for the overtake would be better. I mean, you could just do the standard, like, if you watched um, Lando Norris's race, where he got the fastest lap and also got the podium in the Austria. first Australia, Austrian Grand Prix. Yeah. His engineer was telling him just like push and hold for five seconds and, and stuff, or push for five seconds and stuff like that. And it helped out massively. So if you could do like the push and hold, five seconds, let go, that's overtake done and stuff like that. That would be brilliant. I'd that love be, to see that. That would be good. Uh, Jamie J. Carr Gaming says, come on, Peppermeat. Peppermeat isn't racing tonight. Come on, Lando. Lando is here tonight. And then he says, come on, Jerry Adams. Well, Jerry Adams is a retired politician. And then Grunty says, AJ Jr. And Tora says, Tango Squad! AJ. Yeah. I think one thing we missed out as well was actually Legends Disconnected. I didn't even see it pop up on my screen, but I just saw it pop up saying he joined. I didn't even see him disconnected. It looked so quick. It might have been like he just lost a ping or something like that, but hopefully he's, he's here. Yeah. Let's see. He's not on the He's not on the list. list, so... Do you want to run through the formation lap, or would you like me to do play? Yeah, I could do the formation lap. Perfect. Grunty says, the big boys on comms tonight. Love it. Yes, sir. Yes. Got big bot and big blazer. Sure, Grunty. <laughs> blazer <laughs> is big in the big guns. <laughs> oh, <-hoo. laughs> This is going to be entertaining. I can't wait for Sector 2 when you've like literally 20 cars, you know, battling, jockeying for... for oh, this. they made contact! <laughs> I, like, I'm going to be like up and down the the grid with, with the camera like. So guys, I know you're going to be watching this. To the F1 drivers who are going to be watching this later on, I apologize if I missed some, some of your battles on lap 1 and 2 because I'm not going to catch every single one. So I do apologize if you're watching this back in a couple of hours time. Mm. I know there's one thing I was guided um, on Monday was that um, the battle that me and the Koala VG was having in was having in um, down the long stri pitch straight, mm -hmm. you know, the main start finish straight. We were batting it. He was always ahead of me, but I was I was behind him having the DRS down that long start finish straight and. Um, he went for the. He went defensive, so he went slightly to the inside. You went inside well, even I, more, didn't you? I just. <laughs> oh, not only just that. As I was got closer, I sent. I was thinking about thinking about going around the outside, but I went. But instead, I went further inside, break even later, and get the move done. And I, I think I was about six or seven tenths behind him at the time. Big and course. I was just closing and closing, so I pretty much. Half the time as well, lick the stamp and send it. <laughs> you went full send. You're like, I'm going for this. I, I went to your full rest. send. <laughs> yeah, and that that's when as well. Koala was on the hard tires, and I was on medium tires, and I was oh, like, you had the traction. You had on, yeah. I had the traction, but it was like a few laps before I actually make my foot, my one stop. Well, start my one stop. Like a couple laps before I stopped. The hard tires. But anyway. Something As we get the formation up underway, so at the back of the pack, 
in the Williams, we got Suzu MX in, in P80, in P17, in the Scuderia Ferrari, Aldaf 070 MB, P17, in P16, we have got Oza in the Alpha Tari. Tink Diggles after his uh, crash, I guess he did, in Q2. We'll start P15 on the hard tyres as well for the racing points. Uh, P14 in the Alfa Romeo, we got XFR Turbo. In P13, we got RSF and Cash in the Haas. Although Snow loves to do the Haas thing, it's now got me doing it. I don't Josh know why I'm Josh with the dash. <laughs> Josh with the dash, <laughs> as you guys say. B12 in the banana car, Renault, they rhombus. RSF on Eastern in P11 in the black Mercedes with an unfortunate X in Q2. And then P10 in the other banana car in the Renault, we've got Sink Dyslexic. Dominic Bresna in the Scuderia Ferrari in P9. RSF on Vettel in the Alfa Romeo in P8. In the other black Mercedes in P7, RSF on Lando. Uh, Corey Marshall 00 in P6 in the Alpha Tari. RSF on Mansell in the McLaren in P5. IGN Legends who unfortunately disconnected, looks like he can't make it back in the racing point in P4. Syncon Phase in the McLaren in P3. Vettel SF71H in the Red Bull in P2. And on pole position, Mr. Pigeon Munch in the Haas. Very, very oh, well, no shows in the chat there. Big shout yeah, as well. Uh, cheese on toast. Big up, like big up, man. Diggles. All right, we got Diggles family in the audience. So, what hey. do you reckon? Do you reckon Sink unfazed, sitting in third place there, can just use those softs and shoot by the Red Bull and the Haas of Yeah. Too much? You, mm -hmm. He needs to get like yeah, definitely. He needs to get a good start and go ahead of the two cars ahead of him on those soft tyres and pull away massively as we get ready three four five red lights here we go and it's lights out and away we go the Bahrain Grand Prix looks like everybody's got a good start there Mr Pitcher Munch gets a good start keeping it in P1 Zing on phase got a brilliant start on the, hard, on the soft tyres shall I say but Metal comes back and takes second place off him. Oh boy, the spinner! Racer point gone around. Oh, got a spinner. Racer point. And Sink Diggles has gone around as well. Diggles and Dyslexic. It's the Sink drivers crashing into each other. Oh, not good, not good at all. Oh, he oh, bored turbines. Spin. Uh, IGN Legends has gone IGN off. Legends car just completely East of the five second penalty already. With a full force of safety car. I don't know what's happening. Apparently, oh, there we go. Oh, what the hell is happening here? We got safety car. We got a safety car. That's what we got. Full well, caution. Ah, we could have a breather. We got a safety car. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like Legends back in the car now. We got a safety car. Eastern got a time penalty for causing a collision. There's been front wings flying everywhere. Eastern's got front wing damage. Uh, I think everybody else, to chaos. be fair, has made it safe. Grunty has had a rise. Chaos in F1. Grunty? We've only made turns Grunty? like four or five turns where I have a safety car. And uh, Fush is going well then. Mm -hmm. Yep, well then is correct. Yeah. So I hope these guys keep yeah, their distance uh, from each other. Nothing worse than being hit yep. at the rear on the safety car. So, are we going to see Sink on Phase jumping in the pit box straight away, getting rid of those soft tyres? No, he's nope, flying he's past them. Next driver on soft is Brazina. Brazina's in. Brazina's in. Brazina's in. Mantle's in. in. Yeah. Got McLaren in. Uh, Got these Ferrari might be. Just keep an eye out. Mantle is a front wing change. Oz in as well. Uh, I think a lot of them going to be front wing Eight changes. In. Okay, this is really mixing. Yeah, it's a lot of front wing changes. Resna, Orta, Rhombus, Dyslexic, Eastern, Vettel, Legends. They're all in 
up the new front wing. That's completely after reshuffling the field. Uh, it's great that we had a safety car because at least these guys come back with fresh new wings, fresh rubber, we're able to battle again. Wow. Yeah, and my game's now freaked out seeing Dominic Grisner is leading the race, even though he is far behind it. Yeah. <laughs> there is a Renault in front, I believe. That is yeah, Arsha from Hush and the chat saying Vietnam will be more chaos because of this tight turn one. Yes, yes 100%. Most definitely. most definitely. That's a very tight left hander. And even the sweep and right hander straight afterwards as well, it does tighten up on exit. You're going to have a lot of guys as well going over the curb on turn four. Last corner as well. Last corner, yeah. You cannot cut that in time trial at all. So Mr. Pigeon Munch is right behind the safety car. On our screen just showing us as he's in first place. Battle second, yeah, and face like hers. And on fifth. Let's have a quick look at the positions. See who's made up. I think uh Howdoff is the best one biggest one so far. Ten positions. He's wow. getting from Stein P17, he's getting 10 positions, and don't forget, he has started on those hard tyres. Look at, look at Zizou though. Zizou went from back of the grid to ninth. He's half of the field already, and he had no practice in qualifying. He literally just retired the crash. Yeah. He's uh, definitely changed a lot. This has. We've got uh, Cash as well. back in the pits. Cash up some positions. Who's back in the pitch? Did you say? Legends. Legends. Coming mediums. in for hard, and he's gone back out from mediums. I wonder if he make a mistake when he was pitting the first time ago. I wonder. Uh, has he played before? Uh, he's literally gone from pole yeah, to the back of the grid. Stop. Pardon? He's literally gone from pole to the back of the grid, right? Uh, Legends? No. No, sorry, Legends was. Put back up from that, yeah, sorry. Legends started four. That's some drop. Yeah. Legends already made two stops. Let's see our guys keeping their distance. And McLaren looks so good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Now we've only one driver we'll left out on softs, uh, Blazer. That's Sink Unfazed. He's, he's the yeah, only driver Sink on softs. Yeah, Sink Unfazed, since the safety car came out, he hasn't decided to pit, so he stayed out. So he's, uh, he's taking the results. Whatever he's doing, he's very committed. Be interesting to see what strategy he does. He's in a good Sink, place I at the minute. I just saw that on the stream, I didn't see that, but Vettel kind of locked up in that corner and nearly, and Sink Unfazed nearly hit him, but we're about to get green underway again. Safety car is in this lap. Mr. Pigeon Munch leads the pack ahead of Vettel in second, unfazed in third, Roy Marshall fourth, Nando fifth, Cash sixth, Alda seventh, Turbo eighth, Ciso ninth, Diggles tenth, Bresnas eleventh, Rhombus twelfth, Orza thirteenth, Mantle fourteenth, Vettel fifteenth, Eastern 16th, Dyslexic 17th, and Legends bringing up the rear, so we're gonna see Mr. Pitch Munch. Massive sprint here down the road. going one. soon, there he goes. He's Full battery. He Let's go. He did catch Vettel out. He's right on him. on him. He's right on him, he's going for it. He's going to take the outside. The outside, side by side. He has it, he has it. He's still there. Good Slight on trash on the exit. Oh, he's still back. the Red Bulls. Have we got yellow flags again? They're still side by side. Pigeon Mods with a very, very late break in there. Oh, he's been! Oh, that's contact! Oh, the McLaren! How they survived, I do not know, but that is a big collision. Sink and that brings Corey Marshall up. He was doing so well as well. He was in, what, running third place there, right behind the guys, and next thing, just bad look, I guess, but just got caught up. Yeah, definitely. 
Um, I know the exit of turn three there, it's a very difficult corner to get the exit right and then get the traction as well. I know that. The uh, Slexic's battling here. Yes. Oh, yeah, so is Bresna. Look at Oza. Oza getting past our second battle. Just takes it now. Getting past Mansell. They're still side by side. Into turn one. A slight contact with the cars ahead. Take the wide line. That's it. Nice and safe. Early days yet. Look at the three wide. Oh, don't do that, lads. Don't do that. Please don't do that. They're three wide. No. This is definitely going to be some tears. Mantle's creeping! Mantle's just creeping! Oh, oh no, easy! Easy! Oh, oh the other Tory! Oh, has gone! Oza! Such a great Oza's battle up until that. Mantle's right in the back of his season. He is still kicking off. It's still so close, isn't it? Legends, I'm dyslexic. I'm not gonna go for it. He's holding off. He's holding. Get a flag in sector two. Corey Marshall. Corey Marshall's going. Corey Marshall's off. Corey Marshall's spun. He hit the auto spin curve. CJ and Vettel side by side. Vettel's already used his ERS and his ERS deployment. Just has to make it stick. He's the outside. Oh! This looks like the twitch. The RS is an evil as well. We forgot about that. I forgot about a lot Legends of things. Legends and Vettel. Eastern. It's Eastern and Vettel. Oh my lord. Play nice, guys. Come on. We've seen so many cars spin. Don't go three wide. Oh they're going through wide. They're going through wide. They're going through wide. Oh, the Williams got squeezed oh, in the middle. No. Mansell got past uh, dyslexic. Good job. <laughs> Meanwhile, Mr. Pigeon Watch is pulling the two second lead. Uh, <laughs> Looks at Lando. Sorry, I missed what you, you said there, Blazer. That's <laughs> fine. I think we could have a little breather now from that. I was saying that Diggle's an Odaf! <laughs> They're going out again. And Rhombus! <laughs> this is brilliant, oh, brilliant action. He's going for the cutback. Watch it, watch it. There it is, there it is. He's going to use the back. Here goes Diggle's on the hearts. It's very hard to overtake when the car in front has uh, DRS as well. Oh! They go for it! Oh! The break, oh, the break! This looks like a man still on the inside of turn one. B10 gets the move done. Whew. Okay, they're starting to space out a small bit now. Uh. <laughs> we did say things with the spice up it. Three wide. One. Come on, guys. I know that I know the track is wide, but you don't need to go three wide, like into turn six or seven, whatever it was. Oh my gosh, someone's gonna yeah. lose a front wing. Mansell and Dyslexic are still close to each other. The P10. Every oh, point yeah, matters. Has an no yeah. Every point matters. Although Every in saying that, matters. Mansell's battery is down to like less than 10%. Oh, and the yellow flag, oh, sector 2. Where is not? He's lost it at the uh, Charisma Curve. The Charisma Curve. See, look guys. 
Prismic, you already have a corner in that for yourself already, guys. Well done. Well done. <laughs> That's unfortunate for Tomic Brazil not doing so well. Yeah, definitely. Uh, now with the Rumbus. cash up into third! Look at Rumbus! Rumbus! So behind! Oh, what a move! Crunchy, where are the trees? The trees are everywhere, man. The palm trees. We're in the desert here. Get a flag in sector one. That's a McLaren Sinkum Face. That's fun. That's not. It's all set for Mansell. I meant Mansell on phases. Mansell, he's fun. Easton, Easton on oh, battle. Easton on battle. After a battle. Battle has disconnected, I'll try to bring him back in. Totally, totally. Oh, that's just me. Um, <laughs> that's just me. That's just me. just spotted something there. Let's have a look at this. Position changes. Uh, Alduf is up 13 spots. Uh, Jesus! Now the cash oh! is up into third from 10 spots. Oh, I've got to session. Yeah, everyone's getting past that now. Oh, the cash could be in for a serious drive tonight. Look at this, he's catching! He's catching Lando! Of course he's DRS on him. He's gonna go try around the outside, turn one, close the door, he doesn't. Try for the cutback, can he? Now with the cash still has lots of battery. He's gonna go for it. He's gonna get DRS on the straight here. Will Lando take the inside? He stays the outside so far. Will he cover the inside? Does not. Chooses outside. Oh, this is very good at defending. He's not going to let uh, the legend Renault. back just like that. Uh, Shane on the chat saying, Butter, Camo says, and I cry, Butter, Butter, give us a wave. All right, here it goes. Walking over to my wind. <laughs> I'm sticking out my hands and I'm waving it. Right. Hey Camel. And 20 minutes out there, big wave to you guys as well. Territory viewers, thanks for watching us <laughs> tonight guys. This is RSF1, Season 3, uh, Division 1. Round 2. Round 2, round two in Bahrain. What a race. Yes, Bahrain is round 2. Cash has lost a few tents to Lando, but he's still within DRS range. Meanwhile, Legends is on the back of his teammate Diggles. Will we see some team orders possibly? Or is they going to battle it out? Here we go. RSF1 Cash. Is he going to go for this time? We've lost Osa. The Alcatraz driver's out. He's lost it. Safety car! Whatever that was. Yep. I just like saying safety car. Um, yeah, safety car. Osa has. Easton's in. Easton's in. Fun. Very quick. Very quick. That's. Great Vettel job, Easton. Vettel was back in the lobby. Uh, yeah, Orza. Just uh, to remind you. Oh, Mantle tries to be a penalty with the speed down at the safety car. But just to let you know where Orza crashed. Orza crashed it at the Charismic curb. Hope Charismic is watching. He's getting a lot of mentions tonight. Actually, believe it or not, it's actually, <laughs> it's actually Charismic's birthday this weekend. Believe it or not. So I, want birthday, <laughs> so I want everyone in the chat to say happy birthday, Chris Mick, and hope you have a, a good weekend. Uh, Metal's in for soft eyes. That has been mistake. Oh, Metal is. Metal is left. Uh, five second time playing for speeding in the pits. Metal's on softs. That has to be a mistake, right, Laser? There's no way you're going soft right now. Yeah, I think that might be a mistake there from RS7 Vettel. See a lovely safety car parked at the exit of turn 2 there. Waiting for the leader. Just like, watch the back two, last two cars, you can see the Mercedes. Bit there, so... Did you get some rushing time penalty for causing the collision there? With someone, Vettel's off. Uh, Vettel's Vettel off track. Is... is he parking it? What's he doing? 
Yep, Falcon, happy birthday, Chrismix. Grunty says, happy birthday, Chrismix. Uh, oh, Pigeon! The Haas drivers are in the pits. They're double stacking. They have to. They should have, yeah. They're sooner rather than later. But they're, yep, anyone who um, goes on the hards now, they're guaranteed to the end, right, Blazer? Yeah, this is past to the end can make it. I mean, if you're starting on fresh tyres and starting on the medium tyres on fresh top mediums, it, so the recommended stop will be from a lap 13 for the medium tyres. So you can go from lap 13 and then pit for a hard to the end of the race. What I did on Monday, I did because even though we had no safety car. <clears throat> it worked slightly, but it didn't last long. I did the undercar. I w I pit at lap 12 to go on the hards, and I jumped a Grubel racer at the time at precision because I did the undercar. Yeah. So, but because of the safety car here in F1. It would definitely help with the hard tyres, making it to the end. Definitely, definitely. Just looking at the position changes here real quick. The big winners are Al, Al Darf, who basically started near the back. He's up 16 spots. Sink Diggle's up 13 it's spots. leading the race. Yeah. Like, Lando's up 3 spots. Days Rombos up 7. Mammoth the Cash up 5. He was in third. So he got fresh little boots. So he'll be good to go to the end. Yep, fresh hard for him. This is looking good. We're only a third, just over a third of the into this race. Blazer, already we've had action yeah. pack side by side, three wide, yes, three grunt, yes, a tree, three wide racing. Uh, this is only going to get more action packed from here on out. Yeah, definitely, 100%, especially with these hard tires coming into play as well. But, um, also, from DP Robert saying. The AI, it was the AI that done Vettel, RSF on Vettel there. Ah, that explains that. Silly AI putting them on uh, the softs. That'll do nothing for him. Now, Corey Marshall has a bit of catch up here. Serious bit of catch up. Dude. He should get it though. Safety car might be in this lap, but yeah, he'll, he'll catch up. The whole rest of the field should catch up, unless you're yep. Vettel. Uh -huh. I hopefully, think as well. Oh, hopefully, Vettel's Marshall back in his car. If, if Roberts is back, if Roberts is in the chat, yeah, you can confirm if uh, if Vettel is back in his car. It's not AI. Yeah, I think Vettel's back in his car. Good. Want to want to see him at least compete, be at the back of the grid, but at least compete. You don't want to see anyone grow like that. Yeah. No, Vettel is back. Not. Confirms. But, um, nice one, Roberts. Yeah. But um, Corey Marshall, I. I think he's gonna go. Uh, even though he's on those medium tires, I think he's still gonna do one more stop. So I don't think those mediums are gonna make it to the end. No, no. I think you might get 12, 11 or twelve good laps out. After that, you're losing time. At least, yeah. Let's have a quick run through the grid here. Uh, in first, we've Aldarf on 11 lap old hards uh, we have Sink Diggles again on 11 lap old hards those guys will probably need to come in again would you say Blazer? yeah they will have to pay again um, it's depending on how long they're going to stay out they might have they might actually go near to the end and uh, softs maybe go softs to the end I don't think I'll probably out, say though. I really don't know. So really, we're looking at net leader here, um, Pigeon Munch in third. Uh, Lando in fourth, Blaze Rhombus fifth, Mansell sixth, Legend seventh, Cash eighth, ninth is Easton, Dyslexic is in tenth, Turbo is in eleventh, twelfth is Corey Marshall, thirteenth unfazed, fourteenth Vettel SF seventy one, Zizu in fifteenth, sixteenth is Vettel. I thought the safety car might have played in on that lap, but it did not. Yeah, um, as we see around. there, the pit window has opened for the one stop there. For, so medium riders can come in the pits and go for the hard tyres, and uh, that's what Zizu's going to do now. So someone in the chat there, Barry TRC Turner, is asking, can Legends win? Well, I don't know.
Kenny, we'll have to ask him. Uh, if he gets on the podium, we can ask him that. Uh, sorry if it was spam. My chat says not sending my end. Okay, fair enough. Zizou is in the pits. He's now yeah. exiting the pits on 10 lap old hearts. But he can back onto his hearts, maybe? Uh, I think so. And if the safety car is in this lap, he is going to be down at least a good few seconds. So hopefully he can catch up with the rest of the field. Um, how do you see this playing out with the top two unworn cars? Do you see Pigeon Munch challenging going to turn one? Um, possibly I could see uh, Pigeon Munch challenging into turn one. We might see Lando as well. Yeah, Lando would be a good show. Pigeon Munch is still extra. He's a red extra on my Is he? Yeah, if you jump on board with Lando, you can see Mr. Pigeon Munch oh, as a red extra. Yeah, X. he is. Yeah, so. If um, that if that Thomas? AI takes over, uh, we could have carnage for his grunty says chaos. Yeah, I don't know if he's actually disconnected or not though. It didn't say he's disconnected. I think he might have been. Very good point. Roberts makes a very good point in the chat saying never write off legends. No, he cannot. Anything Pigeon left, happen. right? And Ooh, legends is a very fast race. Where's Mr. Pigeon? Pigeon left. No, Mr. Pigeon. Pigeon back. Come back. Hey! Richard! Come back! <laughs> and, uh, Vec, Come back! Uh, Aldaf is gone! Aldaf is going for it straight away. Wow. That's a bit of a gap. Okay, gone! He's gone already. He is. <laughs> He's chasing to me. Let's see who's was on it. We're sprinting down into yeah, turn Lando one. Lando getting past Pigeon. Yeah, we, we, you called that uh, fairly correctly, Blazer. <laughs> uh, it's because uh, Pigeon Munch was unfortunately disconnected by what was going to happen. True. But uh, uh, Aldaf, let's talk about three stars from Aldaf stuff. Oh, he just came he on the no and he went. Yeah, he just got me caught through the sleeping. We're seeing battles all over the field now. Of course, most of these drivers have fresh rubber, fresh hard, so it's a level playing field. Yeah. Ooh, uh, Corey Marshall and Cash. We only have one driver that's currently up on the mediums, and that's Corey Marshall. Three up old mediums as we see Easton and. Ooh, bit of contact! Easton and Peter Munch. Sink Diggle's right behind him. Sink Diggle's going for the He's dyslexic. Here comes Mr. Cash. <laughs> Peter Munch. AI Around outside, he's holding AI. He's careful, oh. very careful. Oh Jesus! Oh, oh Jesus! What is that Two asses. He just goes it for like a second. I think Pigeon's control of his car back. Camo, I'm here for that. I'm waving, Camo. I'm <laughs> waving. You get that double wave tonight. That doesn't usually happen, but I'm only here for one oh, end only. Oh, and oh. Corey Marshall loses left oh, end place. Oh, Straight good, call. Good, call. good call, good call, good call, straight to the pits. He needs it anyway. Sink on phase, on extra turbo. Into turn one, leg braking. Side by side, the turbo. So Mr. Traction. The powerful Levy is picking up Vettel SF on phase. Oh, he's done, he's done, he's done. He holds around outside, but he's blocked off by the Alpha, he can't clear him. There, banging wheels. Easy, easy. Oh my lord, there's more carbon fiber. Mansell's car. Oh, I'm waving, come on, I'm waving, buddy. Oh, on the inside. Oh, the dyslexia got lift off. Could get the traction on the first. Side by side with the Alpha. I think that's just it. I think. Yeah, dyslexic's got missing the front left, uh, front right end plate. Dyslexic's got wing damage. So that's why he's dropping off. He does, he's just on the field. Yeah, you're 
you're right. DRS is enabled. We're about to see more action, as if you haven't had enough. Eagles is now caught up to Alda from Jim DRS ready to spot the Ferrari. How are the front two pulling away? Like, they've got a nice little lead going there. Well, only after a, a lot of people saved the car, but even still, it's a pretty good lead. As Mansell retires, Mansell retires, can't believe it. In the pit side, at this race done. Yeah. Well, let's jump on there. Diggles, Diggles is harassing the back of the Ferrari of Aldorf. We've also got Legends on the back of Rhombus. The racing points looking eager for position. Yellow flag going sector for the lead. The one and three. Abbey for uh, Mansell's car retiring. Ford is 29 seconds behind um, Zizou. Do you reckon Diggles so, will make a move sooner Martin. rather than later because he knows Lando will come up behind uh, him soon? We're going to see it. Oh, we're it's definitely coming. Gonna see it coming. It's coming. Down. You can tell it's coming, please. It is coming. Yeah. It's going down the pitch. Uh, Start finish straight, he's coming. Look how close he is. Lando uses his battery and you get DRS on him. Look how defensive Alda went. Oh, the so far to the inside. Legends, though, past stage rumbus. Yeah, just, just missed that. Quickly back up to the lead, though. We have Alder, Diggles, and Lando. We'll be doing battle very, very soon as Lyle's getting up on the back of Diggles already. Diggles, small lock up, but still holding good. Got a little Alfa Romeo battle here between RSF for Vettel and XFR Turbo for 11th place. As well. Nice now, start to brew up. If I was Lando's engineer, I'd be in his ear telling him, you don't need to overtake these guys. They're going to burn their tires out. All you have to do is just play the long game. Stick behind him, harass him. If the opportunity arises, go for it. Oh. Yeah, definitely. Over. Lando has a little, little traction there. Double racing point podium incoming. I'm calling it now. Mr. Turner is calling it. Double racing point. Lando's pushing, you can tell, can't you? He really Lando is pushing. Is pushing. Cash is very close on the back of Easton as well. Getting DOS on the middle here. As Easton goes defensive straight away. Then Excellent with the fastest lap. Legends just got the fastest lap, so. And uh, this way, that's uh, an extra point going towards the racer point driver. Mm -hmm. Quickly jump back to the lead. It's a three way battle here. You've got the Ferrari racing point in work. This is looking for Yeah, definitely. As this keeps going, they will definitely, uh, definitely bring Legends into play. So he's closing. Look how close Legends closes the gap to him. Dyslexic is fast as lap, 3.97. We'll jump on board now. Lap. Easton, real quick, as Easton's on the back of Rhombus. That's turn 12, he's coming out there. I think. Biggles. Looks oh, ever closer. No. He has a look, but doesn't go for it. I wouldn't go for it there, not a good spot. Not a good spot. I was, I'd be saying it to uh, the front straight. He's Struggling over his battery, 8% on the battery. Look yeah. at the Merc right on the Ooh, back of the prison point. There he goes, he makes the move, takes the inside, Lando goes by. The stars are blistering. They have to be given up, they have to be given up. He goes for the switch back, he has it, he has it. He's going to pin Lando. Yep, Diggle oh, pits. pits. He pits. Diggle pits. Well, that's all exactly. Yep. There's Easton and Diaz Rhombus. Easton on Rhombus. Nice in turn one. Look at the house drivers behind them. Cash is lining up Rhombus. Now 
Now, is Lando going to make his move this lap? Stalking. He's stalking. He knows Aldar has the pip. You don't need to push that much though, Lando. You, you surely have it here. Just hold station, wait for the mistake, and then pounce. Mr. Pigeon Munch on the race. I'm sorry, the Haas. Yeah. Yeah, to be fair, Turner, um, Diggle was through to a pit stop. He, nah, he is going for a one stop. He, he hasn't pit yet, so he's just pit now. So that's why he stopped all the way down to 13th. So he only just pitted for his first stop. 10 laps to go. Do you, give me your prediction, please, or what do you reckon? Oh, it's going to be close, but I think at the moment, Lando is. Lando looks to be in control. Lando would be the uh, race leader. Be the race leader Ronaldo Pitts. Uh, Legends is looking quick as well, so. There he goes, there he goes. Yep, he's in the pits. All the in the pits. <coughs> Lando resumes the I lead think, of the race. I think the top three might finish as it is, but to be fair. Oh, hello! Hashtag! P4. Peter Munch, oh, right in the back of Rhombus. Some of yep. Rhombus, he's losing a lot of positions. Yeah, I mean, I was just on board with Rhombus as he was slightly closing the gap to, between him and Easton, and then all I saw at the turn one was the front wing off the hard side. That's a wobble off the Renault. Yeah, good, and that Peter Munch up. To be fair, I think this is going to be a race battle for a podium now. I mean, those right? ass drivers are aiming for podium. Easton's in the podium. Legends in podium. Landers in the race win position. I think that this could be a five-car battle for the top three spots. Definitely. Turbo's very close. But to be fair, Easton has lost a lot. I literally mean Easton has lost a lot of time between him and Legends, but Legends, to be fair, how close he is to Lando. He certainly picked up, hasn't he? He's been in DRS now. Yeah, he's not even and using overtake. Yeah, he has a bit of his battery left, so he might attack for the next lap, or this lap, we'll have to see. As Cash is getting very close to the back of Easton, he's oh, literally went to the Easton back of Easton. is struggling. He is. Easton is struggling. Something's it's not right with that Mercedes car. No, and they're very similar battery. So it'd be interesting to see what happens on this lap where the countdown is on now is winning the final third of the race. Yeah, definitely. I, I'm listening, even though Easton has been on those hard for 10 laps, I think that Mercedes, that black Mercedes for Easton is struggling. I think there might be a problem on that Mercedes car because he is losing so much time to Legends. And Cash is just reeling him in. I was going to say that, that's exactly what I was going to say. He's reeling him in Easton, so he is. Easton is under threat now for his podium. He's, He's bringing his team under threat. And Cash is bringing his teammate in as well at the same time. Pigeon Munch is behind him. Could see Easton drop out of the podium position here. Lando gets a three second time penalty! If you're Lando's engineer, you're right now telling me to push, push, push. Is it true? Yeah, you can't see though. That three second time penalty will put Lando into P4. Pigeon Munch on the back of Cash. The Haas are battling as Easton is getting reeled in from the two Haas boys. <laughs> Look how close Pigeon March is to his teammate. The battle behind him, Diaz Rhombus. Synced and phased. Oh, but a curve Turbo and Vettel. Albert steals fast as well, but he's currently in 13th position. This is. It's a bit too close to call at the minute, I'd say, Blazer. We do not really know yeah, where it's going to be just yet. As Mr. Pigeon Munch, Pigeon Munch is, is tenths behind his teammate, look how close he is. He is just... He's basically telling his teammate, go faster or I'm going to take the position off. That's basically what he's telling Cash. As 
Tash moves over to left. Tash is standing in the tree. Yeah, he's in the tree. Good job, good job. Teammates working together there. Obviously, Relay is yeah, the fastest driver. Yeah, and... one, that is multi-21. Fast, what happened to multi-21? What happened to multi-21? Now, can Pigeon Munch get on the podium and get past Easton? And can Lando get a three-second gap? We're going to find out. There's seven laps to go. The back set of two. St. Diggles spawn. So, Barry TRC Turner is asking... Uh, there are any spots available. Here comes Shane, Pigeon. yes there is. Reserve spots. After Emmanuel is picking down Mr. Turner, Shane will get you in to the correct tier. Page of Munch yeah. is wanting yeah. Easton's third place. Look at that. Yeah, he is hounding. Just look at Legends. Just look at Legends. Big wiggle, big wiggle. Oh, sorry. I'm coughing here trying to mute my mic while I'm coughing. <laughs> Legends, as it stands, I don't know if he's got an engineer or not. I think he's not winner of the minute. But yeah, at the moment, Legends will win the race because Lando's got a time penalty. And that's how it happens. You run by three times, three seconds ahead of you. Although that's not going to stop Legends, though. Legend wants to win on track. He is going to go for it. Slowly but surely building up his RS is half a factory compared to Lando's 30%. It's not luck with Lando. So realistically we're looking at maybe Legends, Easton and Pigeon Munch for top 3 at the minute. Um, yeah. Yeah, definitely. That's what we're looking at. Easton the moment. does not have DRS. He has no way to defend. Easton moves to the left. Here Sticks comes the outside line. Oh, I thought Easton was going to make easy for him, but he didn't push back. Nope, not there for him. He's just not there for him. Pedro moves up in the third. Takes the uh, third spot off Easton. Whew. Can Cash repeat his teammate? Because Easton will be battling now Pidgemon's looking for his third spot back. Cash has burned a lot of his battery. He's only about 18% left there currently at the minute. Easton holding on to force. The front five here looking very close. Very close. Yeah, they are very close. This is... Uh it's hard to tell what is going to happen next. All it takes is that one time penalty and that could really ruin your race. That's what yeah. it's like here in Division 1. These are some fast, fast drivers. Vettel. Legend's going for it, Legend's going for it, Lando goes inside, Legend goes outside, and we have a new leader going into turn one. Quick, 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 slow, nice and easy. Yep, that's it. Legend's got the job done on track. Legend picks up a time penalty. Oh my god, so that means they're neck and neck. They are battling for the race win, but at the same time. No, they're going to lose it. That might much. cost them because Pigeon Munch, Easton, and Cash doesn't have a time penalty. I presume. Can you check that for me? Yeah, please check that for me. So at the minute we're uh, looking at Pigeon Munch being who? our, our race Easton? winner. Uh, has Easton stopped? Yeah, Easton made a stop, so he's still after five seconds, I'm pretty sure. Meanwhile, Lando is gunning for yeah, Legends. Yes. He wants his first place back. Easton is clean. So, Pigeon Munch, Easton and Cash are clean, they got no penalties. Who's Mike's crackling door? Roberts is asking for pens. Mike, fine again. Thank you. Uh, let's go through all the penalty situations right now. So, Legends has one penalty. Lando has one penalty. Pigeon Munch has two warnings. 
He's one one in away from a penalty. Eastern is clean, one one in away from a penalty. Cash is clean, two one ins. Unfazed, he's got a penalty. Vettel has got no penalties. Rhombus has a penalty. That's a three second time penalty. Turbo has a three second time penalty. RSF from Vettel is clean. Alda has one penalty. Zizu is clean. This and dyslexic is clean and Diggles has one penalty. While you're going through that with a new race leader, Lando took back the position of Legends. Uh, but with the penalty situation, things are a bit up in the air at the moment. With the penalty situations, the Legends and Lando will lose the podiums. It'll be Pigeon, Eastern and Cash will be the podium sitters. That's, that's heartbreaking. To go from leading the race to outside the podium. In saying that, Benjamin Munch could get the position of legends at this race. Look how close he is. Very close. You obviously want to win it on track, you don't want to win it on penalties. Yeah, exactly. Cash on Easton. Pitcher Munch breaks late and almost hits the back of Legends into turn one. What I'm noticing now as I'm going on board with some of these drivers is the batteries are very, very low. Yeah. Except for Easton. Easton has only 50% battery. Legends currently has 36% in, in his battery. As Turbo gets past Vettel. Renault, there it is, Rhombus. They're battling away. Ooh, a bit of contact. Dave Rhombus got a bit of contact there. I think he lost a bit of his wing. Quickly jump back to the front. The front. You look how close they are. It's, it's almost like Cash can nearly taste the podium. It's just a few tenths of the road. Chasing I think Cash it. will get a podium. Yeah, it's looking He's like within it. three seconds of the top two, so I think Cash will get it. He'll be happy now just to stay on the back of East and get DRS off. That'll pull him along nicely. Yeah. Oh no! It's no oh. wing damage as well, but Legends, Legends from the outside. He wants to win on the track. He might win on paper, but he wants to win on the track. Yep. Here comes Pigeon. This is going to be close. Pigeon wants to get involved. We're on the penultimate lap as well. I hope I don't see it, but I feel like we're going to have a spin somewhere because this is getting a bit too chaotic at the minute. We're going to... This is getting way too close. <laughs> Pigeon Munch right in the back of Lando. They're DRSing off each other. Anything could happen here next lap and a half. Yeah, definitely. Legends top stop at the Bosman Cup. Look out, Lando. Lando is going to make a move. He's going to make a move. Race one is inside. Let's go for it. Oh, big lockup. Lando's going to have a better exit. Takes inside. Eastern. Eastern on the inside of Pigeon Munch as well. <laughs> this is changing lap to lap, I can't keep up with it. So right now, Legends, who takes the lead? Right now, 
Mr. Easton Fox. Easton been the race winner. Easton is in, he's in charge. Easton has it. He's one more lap, one more time go around, and Easton has won. Am I correct in saying that? Blazer? Yeah. Easton will win it. Easton will win the race. Fisherman second. Cash will be third. Actually. Cash and Pigeon! Cash and Pigeon! Digimon, she's actually fading! Single just... face is joining in! <laughs> so we'll get the ball! Sharon and the face is getting the ball too! Easton gets past Nando! Nando lets Easton through! Nando, no, I think Nando lets him through! Face down the inside and the penultimate corner! Pigeon! Can't get the move done! So although... And we're going through the last corner, Legends will win on track. But will not win up due to penalties. Eastern will be your winner. Cash second. Legends has to get third! Wow. I thought it might have been Lando for a second there. <sighs> that Lando was fourth, Pigeon fifth, intense. Vettel sixth, Turbo seventh, Vettel eighth, Unfaced ninth, Rhombus tenth, Aldaf eleventh, Zizu twelfth, and we're just waiting for the two sync drivers of sync Diggles in the racing point will finish 13th and Sync Dyslexic will finish 14th. I, I have no idea because I wasn't watching last week's F1 race. You you might know Blazer, but um, who won last week? Uh, it doesn't matter if you just know. It's only second race, it's okay. But, uh, I think it might have been Diggles, I'm not too sure. That's a good race for Easton, though, considering... Easton drive of the day as well. Yeah, yeah, fair play to him. Good drive. He got lucky as well a few times with the, the safety car and stuff, but Jesus, made the moves when they you know, matter the most. Sweet. Yeah, 100%. But, uh... Old... <laughs> I'm literally... Breathtaking. I was literally felt like I was gonna swear, but I held it in. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that on stream. <laughs> but corporate. I'm sweating for both of us, buddy. I'm sweating for both of us here. <laughs> <laughs> that was chaos. Absolute chaos. So as we see there on your screen, it's the top three. IGN Legends qualify P4 and finish third. RSF and Cash started P13, finished his second, and Easton, who we spoken to earlier after his unfortunate knockout in Q2, which makes him start in 11th, wins the Bahrain Grand Prix in F1. We get every, we got everybody in the party now. Just make sure you close. Include Sexy audio, snow please. on this on the track on Bada. Yes, one night only snow. I'm back. As uh, do you want to do sec uh, race leader and third place, or do second? I'm easy, Blazer. I'm easy. We can we can double team if you want. Okay. Well, hey. Okay. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> You go uh, ahead, mate. <laughs> all right. Uh, Legends, dude, that was a serious, serious race. Up and down, safety car, in and out, tire changes all around. That was non-stop battling. Um, the penalty probably cost you near the end. Tell me, how does that go for you? Uh, I don't know. I, I felt like I raced good, but I'm not happy with some of the stuff that happened, like... Uh, obviously disconnecting or my game crashing uh, before the race started so I had to take control of the car uh, when it was going into turn one and then I had no vibration um, and that kind of fucked me up into turn three and then I caused yeah I caused a collision there which 
I obviously I don't want to do, but I was fucking trying to figure out how to. Oh, sorry. I was trying to get figure out how to get my vibrations back and stuff, and what was going wrong. Um, and then the safety car came out, and I pit obviously, pit twice so I could get back onto the mediums. Uh, put me right last. Um, and then yeah, I was fighting my way through the field. It was, I I really enjoyed the the medium stint. Um, fight my way through all the, the cars and stuff. It was good and clean, so yeah, that was enjoyable. And then, yeah, I was just trying to save the IRS and wait for the right time to pass Lando. And uh, I got a penalty, stupidly, at the the, the exit the last corner. Mm. Which, uh, yeah, ultimately screwed me over. Um, yeah, and then I had a little tangle with my friend Pigeon, which, you know, it's never nice, you know, uh, getting in an incident with your friends. So. Um, yeah, so it could have it could have went better. I felt like I had the pace to win that race, but shenanigans happened. So yeah, yeah, it was a good race. Blazer, do you have any questions there for Legends? Um, yeah, um, well, of course, next week we have got the well, the first of the new tracks added to the calendar: Vietnam and uh, the Vietnam Grand Prix in the city of Hanoi. Any plans? On what to go and what your pace is like because everybody's going to be rough around that track because it's brand new. You're going to see if you could get a podium next week again. Um, my plan is to finish that race. To be honest with you, um, I haven't really touched it. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I don't know what my pace is like. I don't know what everyone else's pace is like. So I guess I'll just find out, you know, next week. Okay. Cheers, bud. New okay. track on the horizon. People don't know people's strengths around uh, Vietnam. It'll be a, a strange one. Moving on to the man of many names, you could say. The the man with the cash. Josh with Dosh. Rev and Kevin. Um, before we get started, Jason. I know your real name. Um, before we get started, <laughs> I remember back commentating on your race in season one, and you absolutely floored me, and I'll always remember it. When you turn on to me, he says, my name's actually Josh. Absolutely floored me. <laughs> Absolutely floored me. But um, tell me, dude, that was that was a great drive, smart drive between yourself and your teammate. Um, how was the race for yourself? Yeah, it was just, it was just, it's, it's a hard race, man. He, I'm sweating, mate. I'm seriously sweating. You're sweating, dude. Yeah, I'm sweating watching lap. you guys. <laughs> <laughs> first Come lap, on. I don't know what, I don't know what happened the first lap. I, I broke, Early into turn one, I could see the carnage before I'd even got to turn one, so I broke early. Um, I, I cut up the inside of turn one because I see all cars spinning. I went from 13th to 6th uh, without any damage. I didn't touch anyone in turn one at all. Um, apologies for uh, to Rhombus. Um, I think I'd give him, I think I may have hit him down at turn one. I missed a break in a little. Um, so apologies to him, um, but then yeah, uh, I had my teammate behind me, coming up behind me, um, he had a bit more pace than me, so I pulled over, let him by, give him a go, and then I don't, I think he may have got damage towards the end, wing damage, I'm not too sure, but he gave me the position back towards the end, yeah, and I managed to get second place, mate, I'm well chuffed, well chuffed. Very, very good, good driving from yourself and also from your, your teammate as well, um, Blazer. Um, Blazer. Yeah, definitely a good ride there. I mean, it was a bad qualifying from you in B13, but finishes in second due to other penalties. But other than that, next week, of course, Vietnam. You looking forward to it? Vietnam? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> nah, should be right after that, though. But no, I'm not looking forward to that one. All right, then, bud. Well done getting Jeez. second place. Well oh, done, Mount the Cash. Um, I'll always call you that. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to our race Moving winner, on. Easton. Easton, how old are you, man? You're like 13, is it? 12, 13? How old are you, 13? 14, you're 14 now. Man, you have such a huge potential career in front of you, like with esports. Like, you're, you're winning, like, Division One races here. Do you ever think, like, you know, I can kind of make more of this kind of, you know... I know you were with AMS there a while ago, but, like... Do you think like you can take this a bit further, maybe get into esports? Mm, no, don't think so. No, I just prefer league racing. It's what I do, and I'll, I'll enjoy it. 
it's chilled and you're winning. You're happy out. Come here, how was the race for you? I was up very up and down. Lap one got about wing damage and I saw a legend sideways and then I hit his car and got major wing damage and luckily the safety car came out. I played on a fresh set of mediums, then I just done my mediums to fall legends through the slower moving cars. Then luckily as soon as I came up to the pit lane the safety car came out so I dived in set of hards to the end and that battle of them was ridiculous. Really did enjoy that. It's unfortunate Legends got the pen in the end. Yeah, cer certainly did hurt him. Uh, it was a good drive by yourself, though. Like, great decision on diving straight into the pits. Uh, it really served you towards the end of the race. Um, Blazer? Yeah, definitely. Uh, well done on the race win there from qualifying P11, and uh, the wing damage was unfortunate and stuff like that. But might be it was a bit unfortunate as well. I've seen your teammate picking up a time penalty as well. She might possibly be up here with you, but you both, you guys, driven ahead of a race. And of course, you got Vietnam next week. You are you looking forward to it, or you're not looking forward to it? I do quite like Vietnam in this game. One of I would say one of my wouldn't be one of my better tracks. It's an average tra track for me, but I think with a bit of practice, I could do decent at it. Do you hear that, Blazer? Nice. Did you hear that? What? That's the rest what? of the Division 1 drivers shivering down their spines when they hear Easton go, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I kind of like it. Uh, kind of like now. Yeah, it's cool. You know? yeah. yeah. That's the rest of Division 1 going, oh, holy crap, we need to practice like yeah, that. Yeah, definitely. Right? Well, we can't wait to see you guys next week and well done, Easton, as well. So you got driver of the day as well on the game. On the game. <laughs> Good job, good job. So that's it for tonight, guys. That's Division 1 race here in second round, Bahrain. Uh, they'll be moving on to Vietnam next week. That'll certainly be a good race. I'll definitely be tuning in for that one. Um, tomorrow night, it is F3, and your commentators will be Waiter along with Chico. J4. 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 That's it, F4, yeah. Sorry, I said, I thought it meant F4. J4 tomorrow with J4. RSF and Waiter and RS Checo. Chico, Chico. Chico, chico, hey. chico. Cool, guys. <laughs> we shall talk to you tomorrow night, and if not, next week. Have a good one. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.